signs that the life you're living is not your own, okay? Mother. Mother. You're born into the world and pretty soon after you have to go to school all these influences from outside world, you got your parents, you got your friends, your peers, you got religion, you got your culture, you got your society, all these external uh, influences, right? And when you were born, you were born with your purpose, you were born for a reason, right? And some of these influences from your culture, etc., from the external world, these contradict this reason. These, uh, these influences sometimes inhibit what you would choose otherwise as a being, right? And your purpose for a being, for why you're here, is to evolve, is to grow. So if you don't listen to this uh, messages from the in internal world, then you won't grow, you won't evolve, you just stay static, right? So what ends up happening is that they get you early, right? You know, straight away you're indoctrinated in school, uh, religion, all these things. And what ends up happening is you end up living someone else's life, you know, because it's not your own or some many else's life, right? So <clears throat> it's important to know that the life you're living is yours because if you don't live your own life, then you won't grow. You won't grow to become who you wanted to be, who you intended to be, who you won't achieve what you wanted to do, right? So you won't achieve your potential because you'll be living someone else's life, okay? Number one sign that you are living someone else's life or somebody else's life is that you don't have some form of contemplative exercises. What do I mean by contemplative exercise? I mean things like meditation, journaling, uh, just assessing, uh, inquire, self-inquiry, right? So if you don't have these things, um, it's very difficult for the inner guidance to come through because if you're not careful, you'd be trapped by the business. You know, the world is it's just set school, job, etc, etc. So if you don't create this gap for what you want to actually enter through just silence, uh, actually asking yourself questions, you never facilitate the connection to the inside world to who you are, right? So you just end up living this set routine of life, you know? So it's very important to have contemplative exercises in your life on a regular basis to assess, to strategize, to contemplate, right? Number two, the second sign that you are not living your life, that the life you're living is not your own, is the fact that you're not changing. Like I said earlier, your purpose for this life in very generic terms is to grow, look around you, right? So if you're not growing, then you're not changing because change is very similar to growth. They're basically synonymous, change and growth, evolution and change, they're basically the same, right? They're basically synonymous. So if you're not changing, then you're not growing. If you have the same beliefs, same relationships, same habits, same patterns of behavior, etc., then you're not growing. And if you're not growing, you're not changing. If you're not changing, you're not evolving. And if you're not evolving, you're not evolving as a being, as a soul, right? So you're not living your life. You're living someone or some many else's life, <laughs> okay? So the third sign that the life you're living is not your own is the fact that you are being inauthentic. You are, for example, you are a people pleaser. And what's a people pleaser? A people pleaser is someone who pleases everyone but themselves. So if everyone around you is always agreeing with you, you're always saying yes and agreeing with everyone, then the chances are you're not living your life because you are a unique being and so is everyone. So if you are always agreeing with everyone, that means, you know, you've got some flexible opinions, right? Flexible change. So as you start to as you start to live your authenticity, if you start to be who you are, uh, to actually be yourself, you're naturally gonna piss people off sometimes. People are gonna disagree with you and you're gonna be okay with it, right? But people are gonna disagree with you, people are gonna be different because people are different. So it's possible to you know, be yourself and have people like you, but it's not possible to be yourself and have everyone like you. So, <clears throat> That's the third sign that you're living someone else's life um, if you are always, always in agreement with everyone around you. So these are three easy signs that you can use to, you know, you can just flip them and start actually use them to your benefits by incorporating contemplation exercises, by incorporating uh, authenticity and by seeking growth at all times, right? But anyway, thank you for watching the video. I appreciate it. I hope you benefit from the information that I've just shared with you. If you like the video, make sure to click that like, subscribe, comment, whatever. And uh, I'm healthy. I'm grateful. 
I am abundance. I am fearless. Fearless. Out. Out. Out.